Hey guys, Tanner Flowers here. I just got off the phone. It was a 30 something plus minute conversation. And it all started with the same question that everyone just loves to ask me in regards to our crawl space encapsulations. Tanner, why don't you leave a three inch termite window in your encapsulation project? Well, I'm going to tell you why, because honestly, I get sick and tired of answering that question because I'm about to share with all of you why that's about the dumbest question you could ever spit out of your mouth. Sorry. But in order for me to get you, all of you, to understand why this is such a crock of crap to begin with, I'm going to have to expose some people. So, it just so happens, I don't mind exposing people. So here we go. i got to get all of you to understand what we're dealing with here. And what we're talking about is termites. And in southeast Tennessee where we live, so listen, disclosure, I'm not talking to all of you out west that got dry wood termites. Cut the video off. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to all of us down here in the southeastern United States, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, all of us that have to deal with subterranean termites. What does subterranean mean? It means they got to go down in the ground. Why do subterranean termites have to go down in the ground? Because they got to have moisture. they got to get it on their skin. So, in a, in a, in a crawl space situation, let's just say that this is your foundation. Okay, this will be your foundation wall. It's a hollow block foundation. I'm so fired up right now, guys. I'm over here shaking making this video. <laughs> and I ain't kidding either. What we're talking about here really pisses me off, if you want to know the truth about it. So, if this right here is your foundation wall, Okay, when you go inside a crawl space to do a termite inspection for someone, all you can visibly see with my eyes, your eyes, your mama's eyes, your daddy's eyes, anybody's eyes you want to get on that crawl space, the only thing you can visibly see is this inside perimeter foundation wall, and also in regards to the, uh, the piers, you can see the outside perimeter of the piers. So, there's a pier, here's your foundation wall, we're looking in this crawl space, all we can see is that inside perimeter and the outside perimeter of that pier. And what are we looking for? Well, when we're doing a termite inspection, when we're going along, crawl along this crawl space, inspecting these foundation walls and these outside perimeters of these piers that we see, we're looking for what's called a mud tube. And a mud tube will simply be a tube of mud coming up from the ground that will be going up. It'll, it'll look very similar to, uh, you know, the veins in your arm, so to speak. So, that is how subterranean termites travel right there. This little mud tube highway. That's how they travel from up here whenever they get up here to get access to your wood. That's how they travel back down into the moisture. They have to travel back down into the ground at least once every 24 hours, okay? They've got to get that moisture on their skin. And these little mud tube highways that we're looking for, if it's an active colony or this mud tube's active, if we break a piece of that off, it will literally be infested. They'll be, they'll be crawling all over the top of one another in an attempt to get up here and get cellulose out of this wood and take it back down to the colony, which can be anywhere from 150 feet from the point that you're seeing activity. So, also keep in mind, in southeast Tennessee where we live, there is 14 to 16 colonies of subterranean termites per acre of land. So, do you think you need to get a termite treatment down in your house? I say that would be a, a smart move on your behalf. So let's just keep in mind 
How many colonies of subterranean termites per acre of land in southeast Tennessee? Right here, guys. 14 to 16 colonies per acre. How far can they go from where we're seeing activity? The, the colony could be the colony oak could be 150 feet away from this activity that we're seeing. So, just trying to stress to you the importance and how far these termites can travel. But back to what we're discussing. Subterranean termites got to go down in the ground at least once every 24 hours. They do so via these mud tubes. Now, so we're looking around these crawl spaces and we're looking for mud tubes that we may see visible going up these piers or these inside foundation walls. Now, i got to get you guys to understand something. In a hollow block foundation like this, let me ask all of you, can any of us Myself included. Can any of us see inside into these hollow block voids of these hollow blocks? I'll give you a few seconds to answer. I mean, this, that, that's, that may take some of you at these pest control companies a lot of time to answer. Hey, pest control company workers, can you, can you see inside those hollow blocks, pest control company workers? That want this three inch magical window, can you see inside them? No, you can't. Just like I can't. Just like nobody watching this video can. And not only can you not see inside these hollow cavities, these hollow blocks, can you see on the other side of the hollow block? Hmm. No, no, I can't. So, what well, need is straight. So, these pest control companies are charging you and me and our families money to come do termite inspections. But when we get under here to look and do these termite inspections, I used to be the freaking termite guy. That's why I know I know more about termite work than any termite technician watching this video right now, okay? I made my living doing it. I didn't have nobody making that living for me. I made the living. I did the work. I know what's up. So let me tell you something. When you can't see inside that hollow block, and you can't see the other side of that hollow block, and then if they've got brick veneer on the outside of that house, oh, just about forgot. If they've got brick veneer, there is a gap right here. There's a gap between that brick veneer going all the way up through here and that hollow block. And guess what? That termite mud tube can be going anywhere up this brick veneer. Could you see that mud tube going up that brick veneer? No, no, you couldn't. Could you see the mud tube going up the other side of this hollow block wall? No, no, you can't. Can you see the inside of these hollow blocks? <laughs> no, you can't. So all you can see is less. Let me stop. I mean, eight thirty-seven. And all you can see is actually less than 20% of that foundation. Oh man, blue's about out. Can you guys see this? Less than 20%. What does that mean? What does it mean that whenever you or I or any pest control company you could get on the other end of that telephone comes over to your house and can only visibly see with their eyes less than 20% of your foundation and that person comes right inside your house and says, you don't have any termites, man. Let me tell you what that means to the person that says you don't have any termites. That means that person is so full of freaking crap that it, it ought to be coming out of their ears because they just lied to you. They lied to you. What did they do to you? They lied to you. How did they lie to you? Because you can't tell somebody they don't have termites even if you don't see this mud tube going up this wall. You follow me? Let me say it again. You cannot tell somebody they do not have termites even if you don't see a single sign of termite activity. Why is that? That's because those termite mud tubes can be inside them hollow blocks, the other side of that hollow block are going up that brick veneer. Am I making sense to you? Are you understanding termites? 
inspections. So, how much money did they charge you to do that termite inspection, huh? They probably also gave you a piece of paper. A letter, they call it. Them letters work like this. Let me be in this scenario, the termite person. Phone dream. Hello? This is Tommy Termite here speaking. Now I'm going to be the realtor. Hey, Tommy. I got a property over here. I got some buyers ready to buy. Listen, I'm going to need a termite letter, a termite letter on this place as soon as you can get over here and give me one. I'm, I don't know that I have a lot of time to do that for you right now, sir. Tommy, make it happen, and I'll make it worth your while. I got you. I got you. All right. Wait, wait, you, where can I meet you? I'll, I'll drop one by you. Sure. Name the location. Boom. Sign. Sign. You know what I got looked at? Nothing. You know what I got done? A termite letter. A termite letter stating that these homeowners probably didn't have termite activity or suggested that they did get a termite treatment done. Okay. I'm going to have to hit pause for a second, guys. Let me get my breath. <clears throat> okay, guys. Just a real quick... We're going to run over everything that we kind of covered real fast. We've talked about the foundation wall and how that's all that we can see is that inside perimeter foundation wall whenever we're doing a termite inspection. We've talked about how we can only see the outsides of the piers whenever we're doing a termite inspection inside a crawl space. We've talked about how we can visibly see less than 20% of that actual home's foundation. We've talked about subterranean termites, how they've got to go down into the ground. At least once. How often? You're right. Every 24 hours. For those of you that said every 24 hours. We've learned that there's 14 to 16 colonies of termites per acre of land here in southeast Tennessee. We've learned that termites can be going up through the hollow voids of a hollow block foundation. The back side, or should I say front side of the hollow block that we cannot see from within the crawl space. And those termites can also be going up that brick veneer. The, 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 brick, the actual brick veneer, you know, as you see on the outside of the home. Because why? Because there is a gap between that brick veneer and the actual hollow block. So, why am I telling you all of this? Well, basically, if your brain is processing what I'm telling you, and you've got people out here selling you a service that you're under the impression that these people can tell you, no, I don't have termites. You know, they can tell you if you do. If they, if they find activity, of course, that's a given. You can confident, confidently and honestly tell someone that they've got an active infestation. But once again, what I keep trying to reiterate and get across to everyone watching right now is that you cannot definitely tell someone that they certainly do not have termites, even if everything looks 100% perfect. Because you cannot see it. So, so now that we've gone over all that, I'm going to go ahead and erase this off the board so that we can cover some more information. Okay, guys, I just got the board cleaned off. I'm going to keep using this uh, red marker. It seems to be working the best for me. So, real quick, once again, I'm going to try to go with our foundation illustration here. That's not a very good straight line, but. So here's our hollow block foundation wall. Okay. So now that you understand about subterranean termites, how they travel up to get access to the cellulose within the wood of our homes, now you need to understand that whenever we put this poly all the way up to this top edge, like we do in all of our jobs, this is what people are heard about. They're saying that by us putting this poly all the way up here to the top, that they cannot see these termite mud tubes that would be going up this wall behind the poly they're saying they couldn't see that. But what they're saying is, is that if we would run this poly about three inches below the top and leave this 
magic window. Let me write this down here so you guys understand what this whole video is really about. We're talking about this magic window right here. This magic, let's just call it a magical three inch window right here. Magical three inch window right here, this face. That if we were to leave this exposed, then we therefore could see that motu. Well, let me explain something to you real quick so that all of you understand. Do any of you know that understands the building what goes on top of the hollow block right here? There's going to be a board that runs right along this all the way down through here. And if we were looking at it from, a, from an upper view, if this right here was the top edge of the hollow block right here, that board will be sitting just like this right here. Some folks refer to that as a box seal. Some people call it a band seal. I've heard all kinds of stuff over the years. So once again, the hollow block foundation wall is going down through there. This is the top. This is the top of the block. This is the band board right here. Going on through. This is the board that all the joists go over and sit upon. You with me, guys? Once again, let me draw with blue right here. What is the top of the hollow block? It's going to be in blue right here. This blue area that I'm just scribbling on, that's the top of the block. Let me share with you guys a little secret what happens when a termite mud tube goes up this wall through that three inch magical barrier and they get to the top of this, when they get to the top right here, which is right here, they have to build that mud tube over to get access to this wood right here. Bingo, jackpot, once they get right here. You with me guys? What they gotta do, they gotta go up and over. Let's say it again with me, because some people were, some people are not going to get this. Some people are going to watch this video and they're still going to be crying. Those mud tubes got to go up and over. Whenever we run this poly to the top of this foundation wall, like we do, we edge it off perfectly. Look at all of our videos. Crawlspaceartist.com. Artist is plural. You're going to get to see the largest. Crawl space encapsulation video library in existence. And you're going to see that poly going to the top of those walls in every video. Do you know why I don't give a crap about people that get upset about us doing that? Do you know why I never have and I never will? You can see them going over the top of that block. I could go around this foundation if this was the top of that hollow block. I could crawl around this foundation right here. When I'm looking around here, and this is all encapsulated, keep in mind. I can see the top of this block all the way over to where that wood starts. If there's a termite mud tube going up this wall, I can see it. I can see it. I can see, I can see as much importance as I can see if I left that ugly three inch gapped up window that everybody runs like this right here. So here comes the truth, guys. The whole magical window bull crap has came from one industry, and that's the pest control industry. And that's the same industry that will get out here and take your money selling you a termite inspection and come in there and tell you to your face that you don't have termites, even if they don't see any, even though knowing good well, they couldn't even see but less than 20% of your home and they'll take your money and provide you with that so-called service and you don't know no better. They'll also come out there and sell you that bait station system. They'll go in there and film every 10 to 15 feet around the perimeter of your home and then they'll tell you that when a colony of termites comes there and hits that tube right there that's going to have this piece of wood in it, that they'll put a, they'll put a chemical in there that will kill off that colony. Well, if you remember back shorter in the video, 14 to 16 colonies per acre of land. Great job on just killing one of them. Your house still ain't protected. Termites have no sense of sight. Termites have no sense of smell. They just forge the ground until they hit an object and they go up until they find cellulose. Whether that object they hit is a foundation, a, a plumbing pipe, a tree, it doesn't matter, guys. That's the way it works. That's why those mud tubes will go up. That's why if you ever find damaged wood, if there's dirt inside that wood, it's termites. See, ants won't leave all that dirt inside the wood if it was like, say, carpet or ant damage. So, you see why it's a laughable matter, guys? They're sitting here complaining to you guys, and they're telling all of you, which leads to you guys messaging me on YouTube, why are you not leaving that termite window? It goes back to words being preached from a termite inspector. <laughs> Y'all don't know, guys. 
This shit gets me fired. Excuse me. This stuff gets me fired up. It's y'all's money. It's y'all's money. Hey, you can laugh at me and say whatever you want about me. It's your money. It's your loved one's money. It's your friend's money. I ain't going to take it. I'm trying to tell you the truth. You don't like what I'm saying? You see that? That's for you. That's for you. Don't watch them. Don't do your best to find other crawl space companies that will provide you with as much information as I've provided you over the years. Go find them. Don't try to find the quality of work that you find in all of our projects. I insist. I urge you to. Go try and find it. Why would I sit here and tell you that? Why would I tell you to go find the competition? You know why? Because it don't exist. There ain't no competition to us. There never has been any competition to us. And as long as I'm fit and able to get out here and do these projects, there ain't going to be no competition to us. Do you got me? Now you can believe that. You can take that to the bank. Or you can ignore me and laugh and talk shit and go blow your money. And when you do, it ain't nothing but smiles from ear to ear right here. Because I done tried to warn you. I done told you what's up. I done told you what they're saying to take your money. And you can either heed the gospel or you can get on down the road with all the rest. And I'm out. And now I'm back in. Yeah, because I had to take my jacket off. I was getting a little bit too hot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the cream was rising to the top, as I like to see. I didn't want to end this video, guys, and leave you hanging on what you actually need to do to protect your home because I just realized after my voice is nearly already fully gone that I have not covered that. <coughs> Let me straighten this up for you here. Hope you enjoyed this video so far because I don't plan on making it again. So how do you protect your home. That is the only question any of you that ever watches a single one of my videos that has a termite question in your head, if you've got a termite question in your head, it shouldn't be about some imaginary magical plastic window. Okay? Some magical viewing port. It shouldn't be about that. It should be about how do you, or better yet, how do I protect my home against termites? Because I've already tried to teach you, if you've been listening, those bait stations ain't going to do it. Having someone come out there and write you up a piece of paper saying that they didn't see anything, that ain't protecting your home. So how do you protect your home? Well, there's all kinds of products that will sell you. Back in 2000. Mm, say 9, 2009, 2010, <clears throat> even into 2011. I could buy those plastic bank station systems for 17 cents a piece. Little old Tanner. If old little Tanner could buy them for 17 cents a piece, how much do you think these major nationwide international companies are getting them for? And then they come out there and sell them to you for $900,000. So they're making that giant lick right there on you. And then they're charging you every two to three months to come out there and monitor these things. So, and your house is not even protected. Enough of that. If you don't understand what I've tried to explain to you about the center, about the bait station systems, I'll finish it with this and it's all I'm going to say. Go to Walmart, buy you a pack of Dixie Cups, Go dig a hole in the ground every 10 to 15 feet and put you a plastic Dixie cup in that hole. Go break your stick off a tree and go around and break it and put a piece of that stick in every one of them holes. And you got yourself a bait station system around your house for termites. Holler at me. And if I was a crook, I'd come take your money to monitor them cuts for you. And as laughable as that, as laughable as that sounds to you, that's what's happening to probably... The better part is 70 plus percentile of you homeowners watching this video. So it ain't too funny now, is it? Huh? That's what I thought. How do you protect your home? With subterranean termites, you guys remember, they got to go down in that ground once every 24 hours. Whenever you get a 
let's try your house here. Pardon my house, but it's going to be the best I can do on fast notice. So, uh, if the roof was about like this, whatever, boom. Y'all with me? Here's your house. <clears throat> so, if you want to protect this house, you're not going to do it every 10 to 15 feet with a stick and a Dixie cup in the ground. I promise you that. I promise you. This is how you can do it. You're going to have to have what's called a liquid treatment done. When I quit doing termite jobs, the best chemical money could buy was Termidor. T-E-R-M-I-D-O-R. Termidor. Don't forget it. If you're getting ready to spend money on a termite job on your house, you need liquid Hey, I ain't in the industry no more. I don't give a crap. Let me write it down for you. You need Termidor. Where can you get it? You can order Termidor on Amazon. Ah, oh, go figure. You can order Termidor to take care of your termites. If you've got just a regular crawl space home right here, the last I checked, it had to be applied four gallons for every 10 linear feet. So for every 10 feet going around this house, you had to have four gallons of product. And then when you get inside that crawl space, around all those piers that are in your crawl space, you need to trench and treat around the piers. And you need to treat around that trench with Termidor. You got to trench and treat the outside of your house. You got to treat that with Termidor. You need to trench and treat around the piers with Termidor. Depending on the state that you live in, they may require you to drill every hollow void and treat inside the hollow void. So you need to check on the state. I ain't talking about what the companies make you do. I'm talking, I'm talking, let me tell you who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you, the homeowner. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. I got nothing to sell you. Can't make no money off of this, so you need to listen. Termidor. Trench and treat around the outside of your house. Trench and treat around the piers. And if you've got a garage, if you've got a garage right here, wherever the concrete of that garage meets your house, that's called an expansion joint. You should have an expansion joint around where it meets the house. You should have expansion joints right here. And then if you got a garage door right here, if you really want to do it right, after you trench and treat it around all this, you need to get you a drill. You need to drill every 12 inches around this inside perimeter of this slab. And you need to treat every one of those holes as well. They make plugs that drive, they tap right back down in there and plug that hole off. And then you can get the expanding hydraulic cement by quick creep. You put that back in that hole, smooth it over with your thumb, let it dry for about 10 minutes. You can go back and kick it off with your foot and you sweep it up. Liquid Termidor treatment. Trench a tree around your house. Drill your expansion joint in the slab of your crawl space. Trench a tree around your piers. And your house is then what? Your house is then what we all want, protected against termites. And let me tell you what all... What all of this, what all of this right here that we just discussed, let me tell you what all of this has something to do with, or should I say absolutely freaking nothing to do with, and that's how high up the walls you run a piece of plastic. It don't mean jack diddly crap about taking care of protecting your most important investment in your home. So any of you just like to pass what year, 2005 now, almost 14 years now getting close, if you want the truth, if you want no BS, if you want it told to you like it is, don't get don't get upset with me when I'm being real with you. I'm just talking to you like I love you. If I loved you and you was my family and you were asking me questions about this, the only difference in what I would say to you in person and what you're seeing in this video is they would have had a whole lot more cuss words. And I say that to be funny because I'm being honest. I'd have told you the truth. And then after I tell you this stuff, just like I shared with all of you, it's up to you to listen. Don't matter to me. It ain't costing me nothing if you listen to me or not. But I didn't make this video for no reason. I made it for a purpose. I made it to share information with every single homeowner that wants to take the time to listen. But it's up to you to heed the warning. It's up to you to do your own research. And it's up to you to spend some time maybe watching some videos about what we do. Watch the videos, guys. 
See if I'm blowing smoke. See if it's all a show. If you're serious about getting work done, you're looking to get a cross space encapsulation done on your home. You can give me a call on my cell phone. I ain't got time to talk to you out of area. If you're calling me from out of area, if it ain't a 423 area code, I ain't answering. And if you want to talk to me, you better leave me a voice message. And it better be about work, because if it ain't about work and about some money being involved and transferred hands, I ain't interested. I'm tired of giving out free. This is the, this, this is the free information you're going to get. And this is more information than anyone's ever going to give you. There ain't nobody ever give you this much information in the world of pest control until today. And I'm the man to do it. And I'll be the man to bring you the truth in the future. And I'm going to be the man that keeps on bringing you better jobs than you can find anywhere else. And you can take that to the bank. Like, comment, and subscribe now. I'm out.